Hello everybody, this is Howard of avtransfers.co.uk uh, You may remember me, you might be subscribing to this channel or you might just be a newbie like me. Well, I'm not a newbie, I'm an oldie, but hey ho. Oh. Um, channel's been a bit quiet lately, I know, and um, life's just been a little bit complicated and hectic. But uh, little by little we're getting back to some kind of normality and uh, the more normality we have, the more videos there'll be uh, swimming around on, on the channel. This is a company, uh, this is a company called Replicate, American company. Um, and I've been a huge fan of their stuff for a while. I've got some of their equipment. They are responsible for these very cool um, miniature boom boxes that are actually Bluetooth speakers. Um, and they also make a whole lot of other cool stuff. Here's another one of them. This is my favorite. Uh, it looks like the original Sony Walkman, um, but it's actually a USB charger. Um, an incredibly good USB charger with a, a 10 watt uh, con contactless charger and uh, Replitronics is what they call it. All made in China but American design and um, marketed through the US. Not available in the UK unless you get it through a third party. Um, they don't seem to ship internationally for whatever reason I don't know. But um, I wanted to get one of these and I'm keen to, to get more of these miniature arcade machines and there are a number on eBay uh, that are either second hand or, or third party imports. This is a second hand unit, it's good enough for me. It's going to be a shelf queen more than likely. Uh, this is a Missile Command, I'm a great fan of the early uh, Atari and um, early games that came out in the uh, early 80s, late 70s and I believe this is probably early 80s um, let's take a look let's take a look okay so here we go um, going freehand for a bit and uh, Satsuma Avenue California hmm. all right so this is I believe the outer box it looks like it's been opened previously let's just see if we can get this open I'm just gonna do this two-handed so stand by okay so Let's just open this puppy up. Uh, there we go. Now what's interesting about these particular uh, games and generally all the stuff that they make is they go to great lengths in making an authentic box as well which is really interesting because if you're a true collector you know you've got to have the original box. So this is the outer box. This is the inner box. Let's, uh, let's take that out. Oops, let's take that out. I'm not sure where I stand on the box thing. I think the inner box is pretty cool. <laughs> You've got to love this stuff, right? Look at this. Let's get a bit of light in there. Do not fork the side. So this is like the actual crate. The actual either crate or, or huge box that the original um, game would have come in if you had bought a new one at the time which is really really charming um, I like that I'm not sure if, if the original box would have opened like this but hey ho let's just see what happens right Ooh. oh wow triple box triple box surprise oh okay look at this thing wow 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 um new I don't know if these are still available I suspect they are but they don't seem to do huge runs of them um, this doesn't look like as popular a version as some of the other titles I was bidding on a dragon's lair as well I'm I got bid out at the last second but this one seemed to be okay so this is what we're looking at let's open that up all right let's have a quick look uh, this is a 1 6 scale um, this is a replica cabinet, one sixth scale, 11 inches tall. It has a trick, a trackball. It has a, a convex CRT style transparent lens that transforms the LCD screen to look like a CRT television screen. I like that. 
Um, it has mono audio and uh, the original art on the cabinet. Um, I like that. It's all official. It's all kosher, which is really nice. And um, I always find if I don't open the box from the start for a video, then even if I you know look at the machine first and then do a review, it's not as interesting for me. So I like to open them with you. So look at that. Whoa. Metal coin door. Okay, let's let's zoom out a bit and let's see what we can do here. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, it seems to have gone a lot for the side box option. Okay, we've got a nice little missile com oh look at this quarters as they say quarters Qu i can't do the american accent but uh, pennies i guess pennies coins miniature coins i like that operation maintenance service manual okay we'll check that out later oh usb cable that's happy days <gasps> Ooh. now i know this isn't brand new but this is good enough for me Okay, back again. We ran out of uh, battery, not battery, we ran out of memory space. Uh, thankfully I caught it in time. Nothing worse than doing a video and then finding you've run out of memory space. So, let's take a look-see at this cool machine. I'm getting more excited as I look at it. I mean, this thing is just a thing of beauty. It's got the um, interesting curve on the screen. It has oh, the very cute little buttons. Oh, a trackball and very small graphics that are very good but I'm unable to read them without my glasses um, the original artwork oh this is better than the real thing man um, your U USB charging not too sure what that's about if that's just an effect obviously that's the speaker the volume the power and uh, we've got <laughs> uh, retro reprints of all the original labels wow that's incredible 120 volts, 3 amps, indoor use only. I mean, this is classic. Let's see if there's any power here. I hope there is. And the answer is... No. Oh, that's disappointing. When you buy something that's nicer, there's a bit of power in it. Okay, let's sort that out quickly. Okay, so... There is power. I was totally wrong. There is power. I was about to get my charger out, and there it is. Look at this thing. Alright, let's, let's get a bit closer here. That's incredible. Whatever they've done, they've actually managed to get the screen to have a bit of a bend to the picture, which is very charming. And look at this. There's a, a marquee. <laughs> marquee up there with the original uh, speakers on top. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we try to play a game. Let's, let's put this down and try to play a game. Okay, so it looks like I've managed to uh, get a bit of room for showing you the picture. It's quite reflective though because of this bendy effect, which kind of is good and bad. Um, I do like the little glowing um, door one coin one play oh, I see oh I see if you push the buttons it gives you all sorts of other options you can check for the marquee light the, it's just oh what did I just do the marquee light okay hang on uh, you can change all sorts of settings when you come back okay we've pushed a button something happened yeah so you can change your screen brightness your marquee light, trackball sensitivity, track mode audio, number of cities, bonus city, push right coin door button to exit. Okay, so then how would you change these? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, you do it like that. I want it on maximum brightness. Okay. How do you go to the next one there? I'm not too sure about that. Hang on. Marquee light. 
Okay, you just use that button on the left, this button on the left to go down. Get the top out, and now we reset it. Wow, I just love the detail on this thing. It's just unbelievable. I, it's also, it's a proper wooden cabinet. It's just incredible for somebody who likes arcade games of this era. So being a color game, it would have definitely been 80s. It's just uh, Have a game. Ah, I remember sort of my parents in their 50s being a lot more grown up than I certainly am in my 50s. But anyway, I digress. So, <clears throat> let's play a game. Missile Command. How do we start a game? That's the big question. Game over. Okay, this is the tricky part now. Press start, okay. There we go. Ooh, super fire, I can't remember. So this game was all about you basically using your weapons to destroy uh, missiles from other countries. So I suppose these were the, the big bad old Russians who don't, who don't disappoint. Uh, oh, no, and then of course when you run out of missiles, one hits the ground and it's Kabului for whoever was uh, in the way of that one. So it's, oh, I've seen to have run out of bullets. Okay, you've got three different guns. Okay, I seem to have rescued the town. Yeah, oh no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, the sound is incredible. The whole experience is very authentic. Okay. And I do apologize to people who know how to play this game properly. So I have this game on one of my uh, arcade machines, but the problem with it is that I don't have a trackball on my arcade machine, so you can't really... Oh. Alright, Star Wars, that's for sure. Wow! <laughs> that is super cool. How many, how many lives do you get? I don't know. I think I see... Oh! I guess I'm on my last life now. Let's see if I get that son of a gun. No! Come on. Let me get you. As they say, if the bomb don't get you, then the fallout will, right? Ah! Oh. Okay, let's see that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool. Oh! Das Vidania, as they say, huh? So what's interesting about this is the only thing I can fault this on, other than it not being the real full-size machine, is that when I was uh, a wee lad playing these games, I distinctly remember the burn marks on the tubes on the CRT tubes um, where, the, where the previous uh, screen had been played or where, the, where things like this label, Missile Command, because it would have stayed on the screen too long in, on average across a, a daily use of the machine, you'd have those burn marks. You'd also have burn marks for this sort of bottom part. So pretty darn awesome though. Okay, so just in the interest of uh, scale, I've got another sort of mini arcade that I got a few years back that's been obviously gathering dust as these things normally do after some time. Uh, this is a Pac-Man uh, miniature arcade. I think this is made by... I'm not too sure who makes this one. Oh wait, here we go. This one is made by... Um, Rubber Road? Okay, I'm not too sure who those are. But you get kind of an idea there's quite a size difference in these two. Um, this is still, you know, uh, I think a slightly bigger scale, uh, but the quality and build of this unit is substantially better. And I think if you were going to collect stuff, this is light years ahead of something like this. Although this is good enough for the purpose. Um, it just feels very light and flimsy. This, this feels very solid, I and mean, you can hear Sounds like a hollow tin here. 
really feels like it's reinforced. Um, in fact, that's actually a good trick you can do with speakers. If you tap on the side of the speaker and it sounds hollow, it's normally a lousy speaker. It's going to boom. <laughs> Whereas if you tap on a oopsie, if you tap on a speaker and uh, you hear a very th tight sound, you know it's a good speaker. And I think you could probably use the same adage for um, for these. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, kind of dwarfed by all the other arcade machines. My name is Howard and I have a problem. I guess that's uh, fair enough to say. But uh, just a quick look at the Replicade, the Atari Missile Command. Um, very impressed and I think we're gonna find a few more of these. Very, very impressed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, a little brief look into the various arcade machines. Um, or arcade games. This, if you're a collector and you don't have the floor space for a proper home arcade, oh, the horror, then this is the next thing, right? Um, this doodad, which I bought a couple of years ago, I, I generally buy things when they're going cheap, that's kind of my philosophy. Nice eye candy, I won't, won't deny that. This is like double the size. Um, and they certainly didn't skimp on some of the features, but this just feels feels like an empty shoebox, right? Um, this one kind of feels like like the machine itself would have felt. It would have been quite chunky inside. Uh, I don't know if it's weighted down or if it's just lots of stuff in there, but uh, this gets the older uh, nod. So thanks for watching. This is Howard from AV Transfers, your media digitization specialist and arcade game nutcase saying thanks for watching and if you like uh, these kind of things hit subscribe and we'll do more of these in time to come. Bye for now.